Okay, so I've just received my new Emmet Sparling 35 litre camera travel backpack, which is quite a mouthful, but is the bag as good as everyone suggests it is? Well, today we're gonna find out. How durable is it? Like, how is it gonna stand up when you're on the road and you're traveling, taking planes and trains and buses and walking and hiking? When it comes to that question, my mind was a little bit put at ease when I realized that the designer of this backpack is a guy who has created military backpacks for the US Army. So he's used to kind of creating durable products. You know, a little bit long lasting and, and used to a bit of rough and tumble, so that gets a thumbs up. Now the first thing I always notice when I get a new camera backpack is how is the weight distribution? So does it weigh heavily on my shoulders? Is it easy to carry around? Because I'm likely gonna have it on my back all day. Now when it comes to this backpack, it's designed quite similarly to a regular travel backpack. It's got clips on the, no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. What am I saying? It's, it's got clips. Clips to put the weight around your hips. Clips for the hips. Hip clips. These, um, you can redistribute the weight onto your hips. It takes it off of your back, so your back doesn't get incredibly sore if you've got it on for a long period of time. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's durable, the weight distribution is good, but how much camera gear can I actually put in the bag? Surprisingly, quite a lot. Mavage Mini, a 70-300 mm lens, a small rig light, a small rig handle, all my road mics and lav mics, all my cables, I can fit a road shotgun mic right here. My camera would obviously go here, but I'm recording with it right now, so I can't, uh, can't put it there. I've got this pouch here. I've got a section up here that I can put personal belongings in. We've also got this little sneaky laptop holder in the back. It's padded, it protects it very well. And if you're somebody that creates and that needs your laptop on the road, then this is very useful to have. You've also got this pocket on the side that you can comfortably store a water bottle in, which might be a fairly standard feature, but it's still nice to have. Now these narrow straps might not seem like a big deal, but if you've ever tried to mount a camera clip onto the straps of a camera backpack, then you'll know the struggle of trying to put these on. Another section over here. We've got a rain cover in. It's also got a lot of pockets. And so all in all, I would say, that you could fit pretty much everything you've got in this backpack quite comfortably. Now one feature that I do really enjoy about this bag is these handles that you've got on the top and sides. Something very simple, but something that I found incredibly effective, so well thought out. Now I'm not gonna bore you with the specifications of the bag because there's people that are a lot better qualified at this than me to tell you that. But what I will do is I leave the specifications in the description below if you want to check them out. Did I also mention that there's two layers of waterproof material on it? So you don't need to worry about your bag getting wet because, I mean, they've got that covered as well. And at this stage, I'm just wondering, like, is there anything really that they haven't thought of when it comes to this backpack? So I was like, maybe they haven't forward thought. I mean, what happens if water gets through the two layers of waterproof material? I mean, that could be not great, but but no, but, but no. Again, uh, they also have a waterproof cover that you can put over the bag. So, I mean, in case you're... In case you're concerned about the double waterproof layer being penetrated, then, I mean, you've got also got the got the waterproof cover. So it's comfortable, it's durable, it's got the weight distribution right, you can fit loads of camera gear in it, it's waterproof, you've even got the waterproof cover as the backup. I mean, it's, it's a pretty sweet deal. Now if you don't like black colored backpacks, then there's an alternative because it also comes in another color, which is a navy-ish kind of hue. So if you don't want the black back, the black backpack, the, the hip clips, I'm really, I'm really not helping myself here today, I mean, I'm just picking tongue twisters all day, like to Black, 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 pack, back, back. Black, back, pack. Hip clips. Clip, hip clips. Hip clips, black, backpack. So if you don't want the black backpack, you can also go for the navy one. So you've got a little bit of choice there as well. So based on my limited use of this backpack, would I say it's the ideal travel backpack? The answer is a resounding yes. So that's my initial impressions of the bag, but how is it gonna cope in a real life situation? So I'm gonna be taking it on the road, doing some travel and adventure with it over the next few weeks, and I will be making videos on that. So if you want to see how those go, then hit the subscribe button and follow along for more.